Good morning. Good morning. Do you have uh, any any sausage or meat? Yeah. Do you have any meat? Chicken? Chicken, yeah, rice, chicken. Chicken rice? Yes. Yes. I'm making this intro to this short story after I've actually filmed the story and the reason is I think you're going to be surprised on the outcome and what I have learnt about Mama and the puppies. I've just bought um, some chicken, well there's chicken and rice in here for a uh, dollar. So I'll take it over there and see if she's hungry. This little uh, rarung is right on the beach as you can see. There's plenty of them all the way through here. Uh, I've often come up here and purchase lunch throughout the day. Oh, thank you. We've got a whole lot of it. Okay, thank you. So, Mama, what I got for you? You see her in there feeding, so I don't want to interrupt her. Oh, here she comes. Just wait. I've got this one. And in here... Sorry, it's a bit hard to do this. Thank you. Breakfast, huh? Breakfast. Whoa. Hopefully she likes. You got this one? I don't think there's any meat. That's the mum. There you go. No, I don't think she's too impressed. There you go, look. There you go. She's okay. Yeah, she's eating now. And you can see the puppies. I don't want to get too close in case she gets a bit, uh, a bit funny on me. But there's the puppies. So we have... One, two, three, four, five puppies. They all look good. I think they're all very hungry. And here comes one little one. I think their eyes are open. Yes, here it comes. They can smell the food. It's been a few days since I've been up here and I really hope that people that have walked past have given them some water and some food. Some of you may not know, uh, as I call her, Mama and the puppies. They live right on the street. This is the walking path that takes you up to the boats. And this is right out front of um, Lamia Museum. So she's got a nice little place kind of out of the elements. And someone's put like a, an umbrella thing here. It looks like a sarong on top. So if it does rain, and we'll keep them out of the wind and all of that. So. They're very lucky to have this. All right, well, I've spent a total of $2. I don't think that's too bad if I can help her out. This one has a bit more chicken in there and there's rice. She doesn't seem keen on the rice, but a little, I think there's a chicken stick in here. So let's have a look at that. Come on. Here she comes, just wait. It's a bit hard to do this with one hand. Hang on a sec. Just wait. I think there's a chicken stick in here, which she loves. All right, this lady's going to come and help. Can you hold on to that? Sorry, this, this shop owner's come to help me. There we go, and I'll give her the chicken stick. Thank you. She loves this chicken stick. You got that? There you go, Mama. There you go. You're a good girl. There you go. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. There we go, she's, um, she's had two big uh, servings of food, so that'll probably keep her belly full for the day. She looks very, very thin. I mean, she must be struggling. And uh, there's the little puppies. Let's see if she'll let me in here a little bit closer. See the puppies? There they are. I've got their eyes open now. All right, well, there's a quick update on Mama and the puppies. They all seem fine. Mama's got a full belly of food, so she'll uh, provide the milk for the puppies, and uh, I'll come back again in a couple of days and see how they're going. I've just met this gentleman here, and he is the owner of the Mama dog. Yeah. And what's her name? Name Lily. Name oh. Lily. Lily. How yeah. old is she? Uh, I. I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. How many years have you had her for? Uh, I don't know. One year? Two years? Maybe two years. Two years? Maybe. And she lives on the street? Yes, yeah, lives on the uh, street. And, and with her puppies? Yeah. Right. Why does she like to stay here? Oh, I, I don't know. 
You don't know? Oh, yeah, I don't know. We have a bit of broken English between us all here and we're going to dissect this. This lady here was telling me this story. So this dog lived on the street and then you came past and kept feeding. Yeah. And then you adopted her. Yes, adopted. Adopted her. Yeah. And now this is your dog, but she likes to live on the street. Yeah. Yeah. Does she come to your home? Uh, I don't know, yeah. You don't know? No, no, no. no. Okay, well you're a good man for feeding her and taking care of her and uh, I'm sure other people that walk past will feed her as well. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what will happen with the puppies? Yeah, five. Five? Five. Would they live on street? Yeah, for the street here. And they'll just stay here? Yeah. And they'll become street dogs? Yeah. 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 Unless someone adopts them? Yes, just adopts them. Just adoption? Yeah. Well, if I lived in Bali, I would take them all home. Yes, okay, no problem. <laughs> and call them my own. <laughs> I can't take them back to Australia. <laughs> but uh, they look healthy, they look happy. Yeah. Okay, okay nice uh, talking with you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. You're the one. There's Lily. She is content and happy. She lives on the street, and that's the way she wants it. Lily and her puppies.